so nice. They have fireworks for me after I work out. Definitely for SeaWorld, but I like to think of it as for me. Welcome back to another video. I'm Andrew and I'm drinking a Celsius today. I don't know really much about these. The last time I had it, it kind of made me really hot. I kind of thought there was an air conditioning issue in my gym. My tripod today is a box of crumble cookies, which is pretty on brand for me. I'm about to go to the um, Catch Me If You Can workout. I probably need to change clothes. <laughs> I've been going to classes. Oh, oh, I've been going to my orange theory classes. And I kinda, we'll, we'll talk. Well, let's, let's start the video. I gotta go to class. Cheers. <laughs> Tastes pretty good. The Celsius makes, my, makes me hot. I don't know if I like, I don't know if I like that. Apparently it's supposed to make you burn more cow. To me, it just makes me really uncomfortable. I'm hot enough in an Orange Theory class. I wanted this video to be completely different. I wanted to show you before and after photos. And it's not that I haven't made progress, it's that I just haven't made enough for a video, which is fine. Like, life is more than a YouTube video. Like, I get that. But at the same time, you know, I'm a little bummed that I'm not seeing a little bit more progress. And I went three days in a row last week, which I need to do more of that, I realize. I don't know. I just, I'm just at that point where just the change hasn't quite, I think I'm noticing it in my face though. I will say that, especially compared to the top of the year, I think my face now is definitely thinning out, which is good and that makes me happy. I know that I am still crushing it. I know that I'm on the way to my goals. I know all those things and I'm not being down on myself. I'm not, I'm actually really not. In fact, it almost motivated me to just push like a little harder before the end of the back at it challenge because I know that that's coming up. I feel like I'm rambling and, and I, cause I am. I wanna make more progress, okay? Like I'm not being hard on myself, but I haven't really made a lot of progress. I have a quick question, y'all, okay? The transformation challenge is not over, or the back end challenge is not over, but I wanna see if I've lost weight because I genuinely can't figure it out, and I want to know, do I go in there and just ask if I can if I can do another in-body scan? What if I haven't made any change? But I wanna know if I have. You have made change. I mean, maybe, but what if I haven't? But maybe I have. What if I haven't? Hey, hey. I went to do an in-body scan, you know? Yeah. And like, I've only lost three pounds. Yeah, but remember, Andrew, muscle, you can tell a difference in your face. I've lost 1.5% body fat. Well, it's gonna take a lot of work, Andrew. <sighs> it's just a bummer. I just feel like I've been working hard. I mean, I haven't, I don't know. You're gonna have to work extra hard. You're gonna have to change eating every aspect, eating crumble cookies. <laughs> My tripod today is a box of crumble cookies. Well, I'm probably still gonna have some cookies. cookies. It's just kind of a bummer. I just feel like I've been busting my butt lately and I just like to lose- well, don't give up. To, I'm not giving up, but to lose three pounds, like that's just kind of like- <laughs> But you've been busting your butt lately for what? How long? Realistically. A couple weeks, okay. realistically. Okay. Then that's really good. Three pounds in a couple of weeks. That's, that's really good. Three pounds in four weeks. That's almost a pound a week. Isn't that healthy? Yes, that's how you're gonna- it is healthy. Wait a minute. Is this actually good? Yes. You're losing it the right way. That means you're gonna like actually keep it off. I wonder how much body fat percentage is healthy to lose a week. Wait a minute. What if I have what if I have done good change? Losing three pounds, that's good. Wait, 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 look. One to three percent of your body fat per month. And I've already lost oh. one point five in four weeks. This is just the process. This is just the journey. I'm just on the journey. <laughs> It's so homework. It's so homework. I'm actually recording right now. My face? <laughs> Don't point it at me. <laughs> so it is the next day. I'm having a poke bowl from Sweet Fin, which if you're ever near a Sweet Fin, uh uh, that's not for you. <laughs> Look at that. No! 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 Okay, let yesterday be a lesson for me and for you to, number one, know all the facts before you, you get too emotional with your journey. And also, it is a process. Trust the process, right? It's annoying, but 
It's the truth. I've been playing very loose and fast with my diet. I'm not gonna lie, like, there was one week a couple weeks ago where I had fast food, like, every day of the week. I'm not, like, that type of person where I'm never gonna eat fast food or I'm never gonna do those, but, like, you know, I'm trying to lose weight. I don't need to eat that every day. And the point of the fast food thing is that even though I've been playing loose and fast with my diet and eating literally whatever I want, um, I'm still making change and progress because these workouts are so good at Orange Theory. Shout out to Orange Theory. But I do want to dial in my, my nutrition and stuff so I can, you know, get even closer to my goals. And I was sitting there thinking like 1.5%, that's like four pounds, I think, something like that. Yeah, that's why you got to look at the actual like body fat percentage and stuff like that. And you know, that's about a pound a week for four weeks. That's healthy. That's like what, that's, that's healthy. That's good. That's a good, healthy, you know, thing. And I just met a new friend, a new YouTube friend. You guys will see him soon. And he was telling me that, you know, you want to build a sustainable lifestyle. You want to build yourself for like the long term or something like that. This was an emotional roller coaster, but I'm on track. I'm doing good. I'm feeling good. I hope you are too. And if you're not, trust me, you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. That's a cliche thing to say, but it's so true. Okay. Bye.